Okay, here we are with lesson 23 problem set on the back side of the page. Um, I'm back from my meeting, so uh, we're going to whip through just these three word problems. Mr. Riley baked 1,692 chocolate cookies. Mmm, that sounds delicious. He sold them in boxes of 36 cookies each. Identify the important information. How much money did he collect if he sold them? Always look for that, oh boy, here's the condition. If he sold them all at $8 per box. So this looks like a multi-step problem. And so let's get started. We have our total, we know the full amount, 1,692 and boxes of 36. So again, remember when you think about where to put and what to put in your quotient, it's gonna be because you've rounded and been able to um, think through the problem. Now 36 on the outside and 1692 on the inside will help us get started. Now 16 is too small, so we're gonna use the 169, 169, but that is uh, 1690. And so we're gonna put our uh, first quotient digit in the tens place. Now if I wanted to use four, okay, because of this, we're gonna end up with something near 40. Then I would put a four here, four times six is 24, and then 12, 13, 14. Do your subtraction and end up with 25. Quick compare. This is less, that's great, we can move on. Bring down your two. We have 252 as uh, our ones are, and then we're going to divide that by 36. 36 can't fit into 25, so it's the full 252, and you have to think about if I had 40, how many 40s could I fit into a close multiple of 252, which I would change to 240. Now, you guys are in fifth grade, so you're you're maybe not used to doing this in your head like I am, but I'm just thinking about this in terms of using the mental math strategy to round things. So if I had um, 24 or 240 and 40, I would try a six. Now if six doesn't work, I can go back and fix it. So six times six is 36, and then this would be 18, 19, 20, 21. And that's kind of a big gap there. So if I do my subtraction, and I see that I have 12 minus six is six, and then I get oh, 36, oh yeah, yeah. So I need to change, good thing I did it lightly, I need to change this. I can get a whole set more. I had 36 down here and this is 36. So what, what that means is that I can use seven in my quotient and now I can solve uh, and I won't have a remainder because I'm gonna use up the whole set of 36. So seven, six times seven is 42 and then 21 and 25 and subtract and get zero. So um, uh, when you look at what the question is asking, okay, we have all these cookies and this is uh, 36 cookies in each box. How much money did he collect if he sold them all? Well, these are the number of boxes. So now we go on to step two, 47 boxes at $8 per box. This is like repeated addition, but we're gonna multiply. That's what repeated addition is, it's multiplication. So eight times seven, 56, and then 32 plus five, 37. And so $376, how much money did he collect? And that says nothing about profit. So he will collect $376. Yay! Nice job, Mr. Riley. Okay, next one. Oh, I remember this one. This is this was so tough, I think, when we first started this program. Poor kids. 1,092 flowers are arranged in 26 vases. How lovely. With the same number of flowers in each vase. How many flowers would be needed to fill 
130 such faces. So if you think about, uh, first of all, what do I have to do? I'm going to take all these flowers. Again, you would set it up like 1,092 divided by 26 so that we can figure out how many uh, uh, flowers would go in each vase, okay? So you can round, if you round to 30, okay? This is um, close to 900, but it's a little further away from 1,200. So when it's not exact, you're just gonna have to kind of go in between. And that's okay. That's what long division is all about, is kind of going in between, figure it out, erase like we did up here, start over. Um, 26 cannot fit into 10, so we use 109. If I used 30, 30, 60, 90, I would have three of them. So we'll see where that gets us. 18, 6 and 1 is 7, subtract, and oh, it's too big. So let's change it. And that's okay. That's what long division is all about. Okay. A little bug. So bump it up. Our, our remainder was too big. So we bump the quotient up by one. Am I doing this on purpose? Yes, I am. <laughs> because I want you guys to see that this is the strategy. This is actually what we do. Six times four is 24 in the tens place. And then eight, nine, 10. And now we're so much closer. We only have five left over. And that means I can't make another set, so I go on and I bring down. So 52 divided by 26 is, if you think about it, it's gonna be a really nice exact number. Two times two is four plus one is five. And we end up with a zero. So we're, we're dividing all of the flowers Okay, and this is the vases, and so this is going to be the flowers in each vase. How many flowers would be needed to fill 130 vases? Okay, so if this is one, then I need 130. So you multiply. I hope you were thinking that. You multiply them. Yes, you're right. So two times zero, zero, two times three, six, two times one, two. And then goes to zero. Hold this spot, I don't need anything here. Four times zero is zero, that's this answer. Four times three is 12, four times one is four plus one is five. Add those together. And so this is the total number. Now remember, this is how many vases, and this is how many flowers, and we're trying to get all the flowers needed. So sometimes I'll ask when students are in class, so what does this represent? Does this represent money? Is it vases? Is it flowers? What is it? So you have to go back and think about what you're doing to solve. And so this is going to be the flowers needed to fill 130 vases. Okay, so always go back and reread the question. Read it like 10 times. You really can't read it too many times. Well, I guess you could if you were still reading it after 100 times. That might be too much. Last one. The elephant's water tank holds 2,560 gallons of water. Oh, this is another fun one. After two weeks, the zookeeper measures and finds that the tank has 1,944 gallons of water left. Key word there. If the elephant drinks the same amount of water each day, well, that would never happen, but that's okay. How many days will a full tank of water last? When I was in fifth grade, I would have said, okay, I'm all done and I'm not even going to try. But I want you guys to try this. Remember the strategy, read, draw, write. They have given us information. If, if you can, draw what you can. First of all, this is easy. Okay, let's make it easy. Here's a tank of water. It holds 2,560 gallons. Just draw that, just so you can start, okay? 
After two weeks, the zookeeper measures and finds that the tank has 1,000, let's just put a line of water, yay, water, 1,944 gallons left, okay? So this is zero gallons, so it's like a vertical number line, okay? And that is, this is two weeks' time. That's two weeks, and we also know that that's uh, 14 days. Okay, so I haven't done any calculating yet. I haven't figured anything out at all. I'm just drawing a picture. But the idea is that you're supposed to kind of start thinking about how the numbers are related to each other. Okay? Now let's start thinking about what to do with the numbers. If the elephant drinks the same amount of water each day, how many days will a full tank last? So what I want to do is I want to find out how many gallons are here because all I know is what, what the elephants drank um, in these 14 days, but I don't have the number. I know that this is 1944 or 1,944 but I don't know this amount. So let's see if we can figure it out. If I wanna find the difference between 2,560 and 1,944, finding the difference is subtraction. So let's subtract and find out what this amount is in gallons, okay? So subtraction, I can't take four from zero, so I'm gonna go here, take one, give 10. 10 minus four, six. I can take four from five and get one. I cannot take nine from five, that's okay. Take one from here, give 10 here. The difference between 15 and nine is six. So 616 gallons is what is here, okay? So now what do we do with this? If the elephant drinks the same amount of water each day, Hmm, how many days will the water last? So let's take this total and think about these 14 days. And if you want to take this total and divide it by the 14 days, then it would look like this. And now we have just a standard division problem to find out how much water uh, each day. Now, that's not answering how many days will a full tank last. That's just finding out how much water uh, is consumed per day. But that's going to be a really important number to help us get to the final question. So 61 divided by 14, well, you know, I could use 15. And if I had 15, it would be 15, 30, 45, 60. That's just me counting by 15s, but you could do it too. And so I'm going to guess um, 4. And 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. And the difference between 56 and 61 is 5. Or you can do the standard algorithm if it makes you happy. And look, I got I have 56 here. Bum, bum, bum. And now I have 56 to divide with. So guess what? I'm going to put another 4 up here because I know 4 times 14 is 56 because I just did it. Okay. Or you can do it again and just double check your math. 4 times 4 is 16, carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Get a 0. So, but that makes sense because that's what we're saying the elephant drank. 44 gallons per day. Okay, this is good information here, but it is not answering the final question. If the elephant drinks the same amount of water each day, 44 gallons, how many days will a full tank of water last? So now that you're probably exhausted from doing all this math, we have to look at the full tank, the 2,560 gallons in the full tank. And we want to take the gallons per day and use that as our divisor, okay? So we're going to divide the whole tank by the gallons per day. So let's start. 
25 is not divisible. Let's put our first number in the quotient, first digit in the quotient in the tens place. 256, I don't know, I'm kind of far away from uh, 50, so I could use 40, and I could guess maybe a five. Five times four is 20, and then 22, and we'll see how close we get. Do some subtraction, five, four, three, and so we have a pretty big number there, but it's still less than my divisor, so I am okay. But knowing that this is really big, and when I bring down my zero, I, I always like to say, let's start with nine and go down from there. But it doesn't have to be that big because nine times 40 would be 36, and I have 44. So I'm gonna bring it down to eight. Eight times four is 32, and then 32 and 35, because I added that three. And when I said add it, I wanted to put a plus, but I need to put subtraction. And the difference between 352 and 360 is eight. Now, what does this mean? It means that I have gallons of water that I am um, distributing, okay, and 44 gallons per day. So we're talking about days here. And so if you, um, how many full, how many days will a full tank last? Well, it's going to last 58 days. And will there be any water left? Yeah, there will be eight gallons left, but that's not going to last the next day. Okay, so 58 days is how long it will last, but you have to fill it up because this is like scraping the bottom of the tank. Okay, so super challenging word problems on this. That's why it has its own video. If this was helpful, click subscribe. And if it wasn't helpful, I am so sorry. I wish there was more I could do, but I am not perfect. Just doing my best. So I hope you guys have a super great day and we'll see you on the next video. Ciao.